there will be two areas that we're going to need to modify in order to add color to our punt page. First, we're going to need to modify our existing color palettes. Now, because we've already added lighting, we have several additional modified color palettes that we're going to add laser to. The second is we're going to need to modify our actual color playbacks. We've added several different playbacks on several faders on our extra wing that we're going to go ahead and add some laser cues to. My first step is to modify the color palette. Now, in my case, I have the default color palette entries that came with the Magic Q console in entries 1 through 10. I'm going to ignore these. Instead, I'm going to focus on entries 11 through 18, which are my custom color palette items that I've created for my fixtures. Now, my first step is to click on the Include button on the console and then click on the Cyan color palette entry. I will now click on the program button to see what all of my fixture settings currently are. I can see what everything is set to for Cyan for all of my RGB fixtures and for my spots. If I come back over to the layout, I now want to go ahead and click on the Pangolin Beyond fixture group and then go ahead and open up the color palette again. I can do this by clicking on the window or by clicking on the color a button on the console. Once there I need to go ahead and set my encoder to the cyan entry. This might require a little bit of fine-tuning depending on how the color balance on the laser projector is set. Once I have my color I'm gonna go ahead and click on the update button. Now if I click on the programmer I can see that Pangolin Beyond has been added as a fixture for this palette entry. I'll now click clear to clear my programmer and repeat these steps for all the remaining colors in my color palette. The next step is to go ahead and click on my playback button and see all of the different cue stacks that are assigned to the different playback faders that I have in my wing. Now if I open up my cyan and red playback and click on view cue stack I can see the two cues that I have available underneath this cue stack. If I go ahead and click on the include button and click on cue number one and open the programmer I can see that I have my general wash fixture set to red and my spots all set to cyan. Now I want to go ahead and choose a color that's going to be appropriate for the lasers so in order to do that I'm going to use a handy program that I found online called Palatin. Now if I specify different kinds of color schemes I can see different color suggestions. In my case I want to use a complementary color. I can see that cyan and red are part of this color scheme so I'm going to choose green for my lasers. If I go to the layout this particular cue is already loaded into the programmer. If I choose Penguin Beyond and click on my green palette item, go ahead and choose update, I have now set this color for this playback. Anytime this playback is activated, it will go ahead and set the lasers to green with the red wash color and cyan spots. I will now repeat these steps for all of the remaining color playbacks that I have on my extra wing. What I want to do now is add in the multicolored effects. The first thing I'm going to do is set up a lighting look by selecting my front and rear pars and setting them to red and then selecting my spots and putting them to yellow. Then I'm going to select beyond and go into my color palette. Using the encoder for our color effects channel I'm going to go ahead and find my red and yellow color effect. Then I'm going to go ahead and click on the playback button, click on page 2, and record this into a playback. Then I'll click on the set button and give the playback a name, Red Yellow. I will go ahead and repeat these steps and create a second playback for a blue-green color scheme. And now when I look at this in Realizer, I can see I have some nice multicolor laser effects that give a really big rock and roll look. And now we have a completed page that controls light and lasers that makes it very easy for us to punt a show. 
we have enough material on this punt page now with the different kinds of color palettes that we have, the different kinds of laser patterns that we've chosen, and the beam sequence that we've chosen, that we can pretty much handle any kind of busking situation that we might run into. This is by no means a complete overview of everything you can do with the Campsys Magic U console, DMX, and Pangolin Beyond, but if you need to get from zero to show ready in a very short amount of time, if you follow these steps, you'll be in there ready to rock and roll in no time.